Hi, I'm Imtishan Jiaro from Motoring Middle East and this is the magnificent Rolls-Royce Wraith which is the coupe version of the Ghost. Now if you're familiar with the Ghost, it's a four-door sedan. This is however a two-door coupe or actually a fastback. If you look at the roof, it's actually 50 millimeters lower. Now the interesting thing with the Wraith is that they've actually shortened the wheelbase and they've widened the rear track so it has that nice squat haunches. Isn't it a good looking car? It has so much the presence of the Ghost but with an all new look thanks to this fastback roof. Interesting to note about the exterior, of course it has the two-tone paint so you've got the white top and the gold but you can expect that any way you like, any way you want. Of course, suicide doors which can actually be closed automatically as I'll show you inside. The classic Rolls Royce thing which I'm just going to show you here with the key is to, um, look at that, you can hide it away so people don't steal it completely controllable. Isn't it amazing? Right, so the looks of the Rolls Royce have been controversial. People have said that it's a little bit of a humpback whale, but I think it looks great. It's very color sensitive. The white and gold didn't really work for me, but now I'm really liking it. Of course, it has the 21 inch wheels at the back, which are right amazingly well, because it's got proper thick profile tires. Let's have a look at the boot as well, in case you're wondering if your golf clubs will fit how silent it is. All of our stuff is in here and you can seriously chuck in a lot of luggage in there. Right, I think it's time we took it for a bit of a spin. But first let me show you what the inside looks like. Let's go walk around. Never stops being weird. Of course, hand built as always. And of course this one does have the umbrella. This is the thing everybody wanted with the Rolls Royce is to have an umbrella and there's one on the other side as well. It's for your passenger. Right. Okay, and now we're inside the Rolls-Royce Wraith. And this is one of the most opulent interiors money can buy. I mean, I'm just gonna show you some of the details in here. Look at these gauges. Look at them, how exquisite they are. They are just fantastic. So basically, the difference between Ghost and Wraith is you have red needles. And of course, you have red needles on this timepiece over here. Maple leaf everywhere, as you can see. Real wood, all from the same tree, naturally all proper, all pucker. Look at how good all this inside here. And of course, if you look up, you get to see the starlight roof. A starlight roof is run by this little switch here. If I turn it on, and then that hopefully comes on. Yay, look at that. It's a hilariously expensive option. This is a 1.5 million dirham car with all of this stuff. So what's different about the rate as opposed to the Ghost? Well, of course, you have this two seat front and a plus two at the back. Actually, you can put adults in the back. Four people can take this car in grand touring comfort and it is really, really nice to drive around in. Things I don't like, well, it's a really comfortable seat and I love it to bits, but I can't really st I struggle a bit with this seat belt. The retraction cuts into my arm really weirdly. You think Rolls Royce would have figured that out. Other things, well, it's so low the seating position and it's so high the cowl that you're constantly peering over the top trying to see in between them. But then again, you take a sort of relaxed driving position and you just let the car roll through your fingertips. Of course, this has a thin steering wheel, not as thin as the Phantom. The Phantom has an even thinner wheel that's even more delicate. But this is not a car that you chuck around and you drive. You drive it through your fingertips like a gentleman. The gear stick, of course, is the classic Rolls-Royce uh, column stock. The low button, wondering what that does, that's basically the sport mode. <laughs> I don't know why this is called sports, that keeps the gears in low. That's drive, that's neutral, that's reverse. This is park. Other things of note, of course, you've got the Rolls-Royce iDrive. You said BMW, right? No, but this is the Rolls-Royce version, so it has different graphics. Check it out. Nice and modern, crisp and glass. And of course, it has a touch screen here. No buttons for Rolls-Royce. This is, of course, a very detuned interior compared to a lot of the plasticky cars you're used to. Everything is very subtle. This is low, fast and high for the not, but it's soft. It's soft because it's soft air coming out towards you. Also, have a look at this. This yeah, the channel stations, right? Yeah, but they're also touch sensitive. So it works through this little strip at the bottom. Other than that, it is, of course, an exquisite place to be. No surprises, it's a Rolls Royce. Let's get Chazad in here because he's slowly dying in the heat. Let's take him for a bit of a drive. Oh, hello there. It's a bit hello. hot outside. Yeah, I thought you'd have melted by now, so you're appropriately ice cream textured. I'm not going to reach out to get the door. Yeah, yeah, press I'm the button. Press the button. Just going to press the button. Come on, those, of you, those of you, those of you GoPro cam, now we're invited into the car. Oh, it's really decadent. It is. This car is decadent. It is totally. It it's is. obscene. It is obscene ways to spend money. But what's it like to drive? Well, of course, 
it is a six-ish liter twin, twin turbo V12. So it do makes you need a twin turbo in your Rolls Royce. Yes, you do because then you have this effortless surge of torque. It's like it's not like a car. It's like an ocean liner. It just lifts gently and surges forward, and then you let off. It sort of dives down again, like a boat, like a Riva speedboat from the. So 50s. you use nearly forty percent of the power then. Yeah, it's I love the power reserve meter. No tachometer for you pros. This no. gets like an actual power reserve gauge. I don't know how it works out the maths, but it works out that it's not using right now 95% just to coast along at about 100. It is an amazing drive. It's actually quite sporty. It's got a little bit of feel through here. This is still hydraulic. Sporty? Yeah. R Rolls Royce? It's sporty. It's not meant think. to be sporty. Well, it's sporty-er. So it's got a little bit of feel. It's a little bit stiffer. Just a, just a tad. Yeah. Just a tad. It's a kind of car that you think, okay, well, it's a more dynamic drive. But it's not a car that you fling around. The thing around. is, you're going on and on about the driving. I don't care about the driving. Look at these thick, thick carpets, man. I could lose stuff if I drive. If I drop a 50 fill coin into there, I wouldn't find it. That's how deep that is. You put, and you then put it's got these the... starlight things, which is so nice. But I tell you what, it's a bit awkward with two blokes in the car. Well, it's that's because you're thinking how romantic it could be. It could be, it could be, yeah. Well, only if you start holding hands later in the video. Well, let's not do that, no. So, suffice it to say, it's a good car to drive. It's just a nice place to be, but it's more a nice place to be than a good car to drive, if you know what I mean. But you know what, honestly, most of the week that you, we or the week or the few days that we've had this car. It feels like a week because well, time does, slows we, down we, in the Time it does slow down. It's like it's a distortion in the time space continuum, as I like to say. But uh, most of the time we've had this car, I actually haven't bothered to drive it because I prefer to just sit here and let you do the difficult bit of driving it because this is just the most comfortable thing in the world. I want to point out one thing about how quiet it is in this car. And it has a great stereo. It has a stereo so good that you'll think, it doesn't sound that good, but actually you're hearing things you've never heard before. Yeah. It's, it's incredible. It's got a double front bulkhead that eliminates the engine noise almost completely, except for a little bit. And then it's a nice, smooth twin turbo V12 roar. But it's not about any of that. It's a car meant to calm you down. You drive around, don't listen to the radio, don't listen to anything. Just let it slow down your heart and your beats per minute and you'll just be so relaxed. You'll forget what you were angry about at office. You'll forget everything. You forget why I'm talking so gently and softly. So I think Rolls Royce rate. Got to sleep. It's too comfy. You know what? It's 1.2 million that I'm starting. 1.5 with all these options, including the frankly pointless oh, that's a couple like hundred group. grand. And it kind of goes yeah. through corners a bit like this. Whoa! But it's, it's one hand. One hand. One hand. But I'm leaning against. I got. Well, okay. Right. A bit more. A bit more than I thought we'd get out of the Rolls. But there you go. Do you know what though? It's gripping. It's It'll good. Do it. I do. think the Wraith is as magnificent as the Rolls Royce should be. It's the one I'd have in the collection. But it's not the one you'd have. No, I, I would have the Drophead Coupe. Because you're an old man. Because well, no, because it is the ultimate, ultimate in deck. And that's the Dubai in you take. I've got to yes. have the best. I've got to have the, the wooden, teak, the teak wooden deck at the back. I've got to have a man that just looks after that. He does. He lives in the back behind that's, there. That's it. That's what I need. Yeah. So on that note, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Check us out on Merging Me com and look us up on Twitter, on Facebook, especially on Facebook, on an Instagram, just search for Merchant Middle East. And subscribe somewhere. If you're on YouTube there. and subscribe. you're watching us on YouTube, thanks for watching and subscribe. Thanks very much. Till the next one. Thank you.